Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC True Dash Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking heroes. We're talking Shuri from Wakanda Forever. And I'm telling you, the drought on news has me feeling like The Rock. Finally! Because rumors were out there that we were going to get a trailer today. We were going to get some type of news today. We were going to get something to, you know, get us buzzed for this film and no no trailer no official release all we got was this leaked sprite merchandise thing come on now dog come on man and i guess as black panther fans we should be happy for that because we know absolutely nothing about this film man but they're gonna have to release something man we out here hurting y'all black panther fans are hurting <laughs> Because it's just a whole lot of feelings going on in the Black Panther community, man. We're still kind of hot over them not recasting, or maybe they are recasting, or maybe sure it's gonna be Black Panther. Man, it's a mess. So we need some info, a synopsis, or something, a good one. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit that bell for more videos. Thank you so much for the continued support. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to keep you long, so I'm going to jump straight into the screenshot. And like I said earlier, this is off of some type of Sprite merchandise. I'm guessing it's a, a 12 pack or something like that. And here is Shuri. Shuri looks more mature. She looks older. She looks battle tested. She looks a lot different than she did before, you know, and she has a new haircut, most notably. So she looks very different. Now, if we look at the pics side by side, she does look different, but the new picture may not be her necessarily going into battle you know obviously the picture on the left is her getting ready to fight a battle that's what she was wearing when she went into battle with killmonger in the gang at the end of the first film so she could still sport that look it's just not you know probably hasn't been shared yet like i alluded to before this sequel has you know no information out we have no clue where they're going with this film and that could be a, gr a good thing or it could be a very bad thing okay but looking at this pic with shuri her short haircut could symbolize that they're trying to make her look a little bit more masculine look a little bit more powerful a little bit more aggressive kind of similar to what they did to captain marvel in infinity war and that wouldn't be a bad idea seeing that you know, when Shuri took over the Black Panther mantle in the Black Panther comics, she did rock the shortcut. I'm talking about she had like the bootsy fade, y'all. Like, for real. So if you're in Hollywood and you don't want to just do exactly what the comics is doing and just cut off her hair like she's Lapita or something, give her a little style, then you might give her this look, you know, to kind of prepare her. So that might be a sign. Also, this tattoo looking like the curse mark off of Naruto could have a tech technological aspect to it or maybe it's a tribute to the fallen you know king that could be it as well also one theory i may have which is kind of far-fetched but i want to go with it is that maybe her suit which kind of looks like a jumpsuit suit almost look like a parachute type suit could be a nod to one of the latest runs of the black panther comic the intergalactic empire of wakanda you know one of my theories was that maybe t'challa doesn't die maybe he just goes missing in space you know looking for vibranium or something like that you know that what happened in the comics and then shiri has to step up okay maybe she goes looking for him and it doesn't work you know whatever it is you know this look is definitely different from what we're used to from shuri and it makes me excited for this movie because it feels like we're going to get something special at the end of the day man this isn't a whole lot of news you know um i guess i should be happy that we got a little bit a little snippet but hopefully marvel is going to release something soon because the buzz of this movie is very down we need a we need a jolt to the system and I would love to see a teaser trailer, um, you know, maybe some real photos, something. So we could just start getting hype for this movie. We still got a ways to go that to come out to November. But man, help a brother out. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Check out the other videos on the channel and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.